Now, uh, I'm going to go over a little bit of how to harvest the uh, Phragmite reed. It's pretty common here in West Texas. When you encounter it, you're going to find dead standing reed like this and live ones. It takes about three weeks, three to five weeks to dry. The, uh, the, the live ones will have the leaves on, of course. The dead standing can be used right away. You don't need to dry it out very much, maybe a couple of days to, just to make sure. If you want to make an arrow quickly, this is the way to go. The only thing I don't like about the uh, dead standing reed is the uh, discoloration it gets from the mold. I guess this is a mold. You can scrape it off, but then the shaft won't be nice and shiny. But this is ready to go right now to make an arrow if you wanted to. I think this, these are two years old. I'm not sure if the first year Phragmite is good to harvest or not. I, I haven't really kept track. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to process this a little bit. I usually cut quite a bit of length. I don't know if you can see that. I think this one's about five feet long. It gives me a lot of leeway. And I, I put this on a spine tester to see what kind of a spine it has and just cut it to length. Cut it about, I don't know, 30 inches. And then cut a bunch of them. And then match the nodes. That's the hard part, matching the nodes. I want to just show you. They don't match exactly. I've got some that I already prepared earlier. And I'll show you how the nodes match up. There they are on the end. These are very close. But some of these aren't quite as close. There's a little bit of a difference there. This is a little bit of a variation. I, uh, I try to limit that variation in the nodes to about a half inch. The, these nodes in the back have to match up, but these nodes in the front don't. I'll have a, up to about a half inch difference. Anyway, what I do is when I process these, there's some leftover dried leaf. I leave the, the leaf on there when it's drying. Take it off afterwards. But you could take it off first. It's just easier to process when it's dry. The leaves come off easier and this shaves off easier. After I shave down the nodes like this, I heat straighten them. And the tool that I like to use for heat straightening is uh, this one here. I just insert the reed in there. And the nodes are the ones that are kind of tricky. You can straighten them with your hand uh, while they're hot, while it's hot in between the nodes, but the nodes require uh, more precise heating and bending. This one's already pretty straight. So there's really not much that not much work to it. And I find that uh, as long as the diameters and the spine are very much the same, when you end up weighing these, they weigh almost the same. So the the, the reed is very consistent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the process of making an arrow. I'll use modern tools. And then in later video I'll use uh, ABO tools.